Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for the collective. We're going to see what messages spirit has for the collective at this time. All right. So let's get into it for the collective spirit guys in the universe. What's the most important messages here? Okay. I want to thank y'all for also joining me on the live last night. Okay, we had fun. And thank y'all for all your support, okay? So let's get into the messages. All right, let's get into it. What's the first messages here, Spirit Guides, Angels, Universe? What's the messages for the collective? Okay. What's the messages here for the collective, please? Okay, so... All right, we have the Knight of Cups coming out here. But this is the double major, so that the, the cards are a little different in this deck. So I'll have to read them a little differently depending upon, you know, what comes out. So this is an energy where I feel like somebody here is just, there, there's a heavy drinking energy here. Somebody is just really not in control of their emotions. This is somebody that's kind of just living life and letting it take them wherever it takes them. They don't really care. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. But I feel like this could also be like an Uber driver. Maybe somebody's very drunk. Someone's taking an Uber or someone's taking someone to, the, to their destination here. Even though this person isn't aware of what's going on around them because they're turned backwards on a horse, drinking and doing whatever. The, the horse is still taking this person steady and surely towards their destination here. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is an energy where somebody has, the, there's a lack of confidence here. Something isn't really growing. Something is moving really slowly here. I feel like an overwhelmed, somebody feels overwhelmed. They feel weighed down and burdened. Something isn't moving in the way that they had hoped. So I, I feel like it's due to somebody here is really hoping for your forgiveness, possibly. Hoping that you would um, give them a chance, talk to them, open up, and I'm getting your knot. I feel like you're just allowing something to fall. I feel like you just don't care. Somebody, you know, I don't know. I mean, this King of Wands is not giving me confidence. There's a lack of confidence here. There's a lack of maturity here as well, okay? I feel like somebody is, is truly lost here. They cannot find the answers in their life. Somebody is feeling very, very much um, burdened here. Somebody could also be feeling very much entitled. Maybe you're in a very good position. Someone feels entitled for you to forgive them. But yeah, the Knight of Cups is here. So somebody wants to forgive, but they're, they are they want your forgiveness, but they're coming in with lack of confidence. They haven't grown up yet. Now we have the Knight of Cups turned forward. So this could have been, what's the Knight of Cups and this King of Wands here? Yeah, the Justice. And it's standing up off the throne, which is... um. Which means, yeah, that somebody made a wrong choice or somebody would not, not, you see the blindfold is over her eyes. Justice energy, Libra. We have Virgo here as well. But the, um, somebody made a wrong decision here. It's like somebody went into something blindly. They were too drunk, too promiscuous. Somebody lacks confidence here. Somebody's really, really disappointed. I feel like in a, in a choice or the decision that they made in life, this could be their career relationships or whatever, because I do see, um, there could be some career issues here as well. All right. Yeah. We have the sun card. Okay. All right. But here you are happy. Yeah. I definitely feel like because in the sun card, in the regular, the regular sun card is a baby on a horse. Now it's a man that is grown up. So Leo energy. So I really feel like somebody has grown up. Somebody may be seeing the error in their ways, the choices that they made, how significant you were in their life. Okay. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Somebody's like, yeah, I don't fucked up here. Because uh, I feel like somebody, this card don't go in there. I feel like somebody's really lost here. Okay. Really lost out here. They're really looking at themselves. They're really looking at. Yeah, and I saw the star card, and here you are. I'm getting your crown chakra is on fleet 444. We're going to read that card. That's the card is um, of protection in my uh, angel number deck. So you're very much protected, and there's a lot of stability here as well for you. So, yeah, manifesting, yeah, the magician. 
So I'm getting you're manifesting. You're doing well. You've really grown. You've really grown up or someone else has. Okay. Yeah. What is this? So I feel like somebody, I mean, it's it's really about, yeah, the yeah, it's like the page of swords. Somebody was not is not willing to look at the yeah and the chariot. See, the, yeah, this is an energy where somebody's not able to really look at themselves and the choices that they made here, the decisions that they, they chose to make. Somebody's not able to look at themselves. Somebody is like, I, I don't know, it's like it's a cringe. It's almost really, really hard to even look at a situation. Somebody cannot accept something here. I feel like with the chariot here, it could be a cancer that this lion has fell asleep. They're, they're no longer pulling, leading this, this chariot, okay? They are now laid their sleep. So I feel like it's just like a laziness, a distrust. I feel like somebody, um, they're impulsive. There's a real immaturity here. That, that That's just what I'm getting. It's a real immaturity here. Somebody lacks confidence, courage, will, power. I feel like, I feel like so it, it's really, really time for someone to look at themselves, but they don't. Somebody makes excuses. It's just too fucking hard. I also feel like every time somebody sees you online or watches you, they get really, 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 it's like, it's a weight. It's a heavy fucking weight, man. A heavy weight that somebody just cannot, somebody feels like something is just not fair. Okay. It's just not fair. Yeah, somebody feels, yeah, someone so someone someone could really lead, really use your advice at this time. Somebody could really use your advice. But I feel like um there there, I don't know, some, something happened here. Okay, bad decisions were made with this justice here. This looks like bad karma with this justice standing up like this. Somebody did not see a situation or somebody did not make a fair or informed decision. The chariot standing up in this particular deck, 717 could mean a wrong choice made here. And yeah, you see that's confirmation, a wrong choice made in a partner here. I feel like somebody could be alone out in the wilderness, the woods, homeless, okay? Or they could be living in their car. Maybe their car is not even working. It could, I, I can't. I feel like somebody is being forced to look at themselves. Somebody, but they drink or they pass out and they try not to, but but it's being forced upon them. Someone is being forced to look at a situation for what it is. Yeah, but I'm getting, you're just, yeah, the empress. There she is. You're, you're in the sun card. You're beautiful. I'm getting a lot of you, if you have a Leo son, they're growing up to be very attractive. Okay, going to grow up to be very, very attractive. Okay. But I feel like you have grown. Yeah, Libra energy here, Leo, Aquarius, and Virgo, Cancer, okay? Could be a Taurus as well. But I feel like you look absolutely beautiful, okay? I feel like you are, um, there's something taming about you. There's something that's very taming. Sunflowers could be significant here. Your crown chakra or a crown you're wearing on your head. Eight to eight, you're really in a beautiful energy here. Very, very beautiful energy here. Very stable, very methodical, very steady. You know, you've worked very hard for once you were living a very luxurious life here. Very, very pampered, favored, and spoiled. Okay. Very happy in life. Yeah, the Queen of Wands, very attractive in the star again. So you're pulling some heavy energy, some major energy. Some flowers are significant in cats, either a panther or a um or a um leopard. Okay. Maybe this is a leopard print print outfit. Somebody looks very sexy in, but I'm getting you're confident, you're self-assured, you're beautiful, you're living in the lap of luxury. Somebody else is is like suffering. Okay, yeah, the Page of Cups. I feel like somebody's like losing their mind here because as you can see in this particular Page of Cups, 928, okay, this, this fish is flapping on the floor. There, there, there seems to be a lack here. Yeah, this... There's a lot, there's a lack of emotions here. Or not a lack of emotions, but emotionally unstable. Somebody here is very emotionally immature and very emotionally unstable. 
I feel like somebody even could suffer from a mental, um, um, yeah. Yeah, the death card. There, there's some, something has completely died. You see that? I feel like, I feel like somebody's arrogance or bullshit or games or whatever this really, um, whatever this was, was the death of them. Literally, I feel like, um, I feel like somebody has lost complete hope in everything. Somebody's not, that somebody does a lot of mourning here, okay? And whenever it's time to look at a situation for what it truly is, I feel like somebody is not able to do that. I feel like somebody's really suffering here. Okay, like really, yeah, the hangman standing up. Okay, so this is the energy where somebody has now someone's reevaluating. Why did I make certain decisions? Why did I make certain choices? Why am I? Why didn't I um, go in a different direction? Because somebody's really looking at themselves, puzzled, maybe disappointed, very much disappointed here. I feel like somebody really did something fucked up here, and they could use your advice, your help, maybe even yeah. You see how these cards are coming out? The Knight of Pentacles is getting thrown off this horse. I feel like no. I, I feel like there's a total dis, distrust here. Somebody is wilding out something where the Knight of Pentacles was slow and steady here. Now it's coming out and it is wilding out. Somebody's being thrown off of it. So maybe where you were willing to build upon something, Knight of Pentacles, um, very slow and steady with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe you're not willing to do that anymore. You no longer have trust in this person. And I feel like that's what's killing this person is because now they want to heal the situation. Now they want to make something right, but it's too late because too much damage has already been done. Yeah, now we have the Emperor. The Emperor to the Empress is here. I feel like somebody's life is just completely, they need you in their life to have some kind of peace, to have some kind of, um, some kind of like healing in their life. Somebody, yeah, this is a very, like somebody, I feel like somebody's very, very, uh, they could be, they could just be very promiscuous here. I feel like somebody's reckless in their energy. They're moving any kind of way. They've lost hope. They don't even care no fucking more. Look at them on the night. The Knight of Cups is, is backwards on the horse, just drinking, letting the horse take them wherever they go. So that's a sign of just letting life take them wherever they go. Okay, because somebody just, they, they don't, they no longer, yeah, the fool card. You see how he fell over into that water? The fool is already like a fool. Sorry to put it that way, but, you know, they just walking, not looking, not looking down, walking straight off the cliff. In this particular card, they fell over into, into the water. And it doesn't look like they are, there's no real damage that's been done, but this person is reaching up, asking the fucking cat to help them up out of there. What the cat gonna damn do? Okay. Somebody is reckless. Somebody is looking at themselves. Somebody really does not like themselves. I feel like somebody just is disgusted with themselves. I'm just going to keep it real. What's the emperor and the empress, the sun and the star? But I see you. Yeah, the strength card. I see I see a very beautiful connection coming in here. Somebody that's going to be loyal to you, that you're going to be loyal to. This is somebody that will pair. I, I see you pampering. Very, very humbled energy. I'm getting somebody that's very humble. Not humble, but very um submissive. I'm getting that, like, this person, it could be a Leo, two Leos coming together. This keep coming out, or a Leo and a Libra, or a, or it could be an Aries, but I'm getting two Leos. But I feel like you tame the energy in this person. This person sees you as very submissive, very beautiful, okay? This is somebody you want to uh, be submissive to. Yeah, the Page of Wands. Yeah, somebody is just reckless, I mean, the Knight of Wands. This is the Knight of Wands. You see this person, the, the horse has ran over this way. This person has gotten off the horse. If you see in the regular Knight of Wands, right, it's right here. This person, the Knight of Wands is already going crazy. But this this immature person has gotten off the, the horse, okay, and allowed it to run off. And now they're stranded and abandoned in the desert. So someone is abandoned and stranded, okay? 
Somebody was is not under unable to control their impulses, and now this situation has happened. I feel like now the tables, yeah, the moon card. I feel like now the tables is turned. Possibly somebody wants to look at themselves now with the page of swords, where it's right here. These birds flying out their eyes, they're covering their eyes. Now somebody wants to look at themselves, or they're being forced to, whether they want to or not. Someone's being forced to grow up. And or just period. And this is not even to be with you because I'm really seeing an energy where something is over. Yeah, the world card. Something is complete. Something is over. But I just feel like someone's a, you, you are the catalyst to somebody having to grow up and change and be a better person, even if it's for somebody else. Yeah. We have the higher font, Taurus energy. So I see a commitment coming in here, a long-term relationship and commitment. Now we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I see a match coming in for you here. I see I see um, somebody that's very loyal and dedicated to you. The Empress of the Empress is a match, okay? But I do feel like this person that, that you were dealing with before from the past, tell me about this page of swords over here. I'm getting devil energy. I don't know why. Yeah, the page of Wands. And even in this... This is very immature energy. Somebody's very immature. They're going from the king of wands in this position with his head down, not confident, not sure, to the page of wands, the reckless page of wands. Even the, even the, the rabbit is looking at them like, what are you doing? Okay, very immature. A lot of attention. Somebody likes a lot of attention or like to be seen. And, and it's just a turnoff, dog. It's just a turnoff. A huge, I just feel like somebody's a huge turn off, man. You're not attracted to this person in any way, or they're not attracted to you, or whatever. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, you see, in this Queen of Swords, your, your sword is down. It's still at the ready, though. But your sword is down. Yeah, I feel like somebody could possibly be very vain and immature. Everything is about them. Everything they, or, or somebody or somebody thought that you weren't you, you wasn't gonna see something or know something, or I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that yeah, the tower and the will of fortune, somebody is going through it. Scorpio energy. You see, this will of fortune is broken here. Okay. So somebody, yeah, what's the tower in the Wheel of Fortune, the Knight of Swords? Yeah, somebody definitely could be, yeah, what's the Wheel of Fortune? And yeah, I feel like the, um, look at this. So someone's trying to cut, catch you off guard. It could be a Leo, someone's trying to, or a Scorpio, or a, a Aries Cancer. Someone's trying to, yeah, Cancer. Someone's trying to catch you off guard here. Someone's trying to attack you, catch you off guard. I feel like someone's trying to create a tower or some kind of, somebody's, somebody on some fuck shit, man. What's the tower, Wheel of Fortune in this, in this, uh, strength card. I feel devil energy here. I feel like somebody's trying to find a way to obstruct you. Somebody, somebody feels like you live in the lap of luxury or, or something like that. Yeah. The world card. Somebody's trying to get, um, somebody's trying to get you to leave it all behind because in the regular world card, as you see here, this is completion. This is something being complete, secure. Okay. But we're walking away. You're leaving it behind. Okay, where you, where you have this safe haven and this security, 18, 18, you're leaving it behind. So I feel like somebody's trying to get you to do that, to abandon something, go something, leave something behind. Someone's attacking you very heavily here. Yeah, the temperance um, in the reverse in the and this, this high priestess, I feel like it's like somebody wants you to walk away from the throne. Somebody's trying to get you to leave a position here or someone's trying to cause that. What's the tower in the Wheel of Fortune right here? The broken Wheel of Fortune, and, I mean, in this... um. In this tower. Yeah, the king of pentacles. Yeah. So this is about your work. This is about your position. This is about your job. This is about your confidence. This is about your courage. Yeah. Now we have the king of pentacles. King of Pentacles hiding his coin. So someone is like trying to do something behind the scenes. Someone's trying to hide themselves. Look, it's a cancer. Someone's trying to hide what they're doing behind the scenes here. Okay. Someone's trying to come off like, oh, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Yes, they are. They're trying to, but whatever this magic is that they're doing, it's not working with the, this particular magician that showed up. I feel like it's just not going to work. What is this person doing with the moon card right here? I feel like there's a, somebody's trying to create chaos and havoc here. Someone's trying to get you to lower your sword. You see with this sword next to her down, she has it down looking in the mirror. Somebody, somebody's trying to get you to lower your sword so that they can attack you. 
Someone's trying to figure out a way to do this because they're upset because you're in the, you're the king of pentacles emperor position because you're doing well for yourself or because you're with this king of pentacles or because I, I, I don't know. I do not know what the fuck, you know, th this is. Yeah, now we have, yeah, now we have the king of swords here. So now that you, now you're aware, now you're at the ready and he looks angry as fuck. He looks angry as fuck. Yeah. Now you're at the ready. You know you cannot trust someone. So somebody was tricking you, beguiling you, making you think that they were, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, this person's attacking you when you're on the ready. You're like, I'm ready for you, bitch. Because see, where this king of swords is sitting here ready, they're, they're, they're calm, they're ready. This person is angry, mad, going off. So there's going to be mistakes made here. OK, so you're like, OK, you, you want to come and you, you, you want to be, you know, aggressive. OK, I got you. Don't worry about that, baby, because I feel like, yeah, judgment is here. I feel like something is going to not work out in the way that somebody was hoping here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah, the King of Swords, where you were sitting down. Yeah. Now somebody wants to negotiate or, or now somebody wants to have a, a conversation. Yeah. The devil card. Okay, what is this tower right here? What is somebody doing? Tower in the Leo energy, will of fortune. Yeah, somebody is out of control of their emotions. I've seen the king of cups. Yeah, somebody does not. Somebody is like going through it. Heavy drinking, very, very much out of control. Very much, um, yeah, now the queen of swords has her sword up. You're at the ready now. You're at the fucking ready now. You're like, okay, you want to you wanna go toe for toe? Then I got you. You feel me? Because somebody, somebody thought that you were, I don't know what they thought, but they got life fucked up. I feel like somebody was trying to swindle you the whole fucking time. Somebody was trying to swindle your ass. And it didn't quite work out like that. Yeah. Yeah, we got the devil card here. Okay? Somebody is the devil. And somebody is like trying, somebody, somebody, yeah, the page of cups, they come off very loving. There's a very dark side. See, king of cups and the devil, there's a very dark side to someone. Someone's very emotionally unstable and very wicked. Very. I'm trying to tell you somebody is wicked here. This is somebody that will apologize and seduce you. But this person has no intentions, none of truly being a stand up person. None. Yeah, the King of Swords upright came back out again. So this is somebody, as soon as I say stand up, so this is somebody that tries to, to assert themselves or this is somebody that wants to pretend as if they're asserting themselves. They're, they're not this person. Oh my gosh, I'm, I've changed. Yeah, Death card, I've had a different perspective now with the Hangman, the Sun card. I've changed. I want to apologize. I'm no longer this person and I'm getting you don't give a fuck because you do not believe it. You know somebody's a liar. It's just, it's just not going, it's just that, that's just what it is. It's not going to change here. You know that somebody, yeah, the queen of wands in reverse, there could be somebody very wicked here. This could be this person doing spell work or somebody's spouse is doing spell work or jealous or wicked. The queen of wands in reverse is wicked. Somebody's very jealous, very narcissistic. A lot, what's the queen of wands in reverse? A lot of bullshit, queen of wands in reverse. A lot of bullshit here. Or somebody made a wrong decision here. Okay. They made a wrong. Yeah, look at that. Yes. And as you see here, look. In this deck, I mean, in this particular card, the devil is here. And he has control over these two people, right? Control and shit. In this one, it's, it's, they have consumed the devil. The devil seems burdened and weighed down and chained to these. So, so somebody has took form of the devil this person that someone went towards that they thought were that was they thought was really sweet that they thought was really loving that they were in love with the empress the lovers and the queen of cups somebody it could be a libra or a water sign like a pisces or a gemini or whoever i feel like somebody made a wrong decision this person tricked the fuck out of something somebody got tricked that these two people have consumed the devil that the devil has no longer, these two people have. So somebody's, a, they're a trickery. They're a liar. Somebody cannot accept the fact that they got swindled in the way that they did. This was a match here. This was a match. The king to the queen of wands is here. But it, it, it's karmic. 
with the justice card here, and this is the this is the bad justice. Somebody did not somebody this literally means a wrong choice. Somebody just was impulsive. They did not have good judgment at all. Because with this justice, on the regular justice, she's sitting down, her eyes are not covered, she's making a sound decision. But in this one, it's like not knowing what decision to make or making the wrong one, which causes some everybody's lives to be ruined, or one particular one. You know, that's why, you know, judges, they go to school for a very long time. That That's a big responsibility because you have people's lives in your hand. Okay. The outcome of their destiny is in your fucking hands. And I feel like somebody a lot put the, the, this, the, their, their destiny in somebody's hands that was not trusted. This is somebody that went and talked about you. If you're in a relationship, went and talked to somebody about you and this relationship. And this person was like, oh, yeah, you know, you should fuck with them. Yeah, you should come towards me. Or, yeah, we're in love or we're happy or we're or th 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 there was something really sneaky going on here. And somebody tricked the fuck out of it. I mean, they even took form of the devil. Somebody has took control. I mean, somebody thought that they were fucking with somebody sweet and loving and caring. And they were fucking with the devil. They met their fucking match. I told you, Page of Cups. Somebody thought that they were dealing with somebody sweet and innocent. But this person, I feel like it's a Libra or a Pisces or um, a, a Capricorn or a Cancer or an Aries. This person was actually the devil. This person got tricked. They're like, oh, you're so sweet. You're so perfect. I'm so in love. You're the woman of my dreams. You're the man of my dreams. Nah, bitch. And somebody was married here. There's a couple here. There's two couples. Somebody was married. I feel like somebody thought someone's going to leave their marriage for them. Or I, I feel like somebody real stupid and real, real slow. Just, just period. Just real dumb, desperate, insecure. Anybody that pays them a little attention, they go for it. If you're, if you're thinking that someone's going to leave their fucking family for you, you have to be dumb as fuck. You let somebody play on your emotions just because somebody comes and steps outside of their marriage or somebody flirts with you or whatever the fuck does not mean they're going to lose. They're going to leave their family for you, my nigga. Sometimes people step outside of their marriage because they're unhappy at the moment. They're not getting what they want. They're not being fulfilled in some way. So they go find somebody else to do it. That doesn't mean that they're going to completely drop their family for you. And I feel like somebody really in their delusional fucking weird ass mind thought that. Yeah, the magician is, look at this magician, not able to manifest. Somebody doesn't even care, like, and, and somebody gave up on this beautiful energy, somebody that they had that was supportive, loving, caring, a boss, a star, a, a, a nurturing, loving, a, um, abundant, loyal, strong, okay, for a, a, a page or for somebody that lied, played games with them, went cold on them, turned straight I mean, this this shocked this person how this person did this, did them. This shocked them. Yeah, somebody has security with the world card and completely walked away from that to get to go towards whatever this was. Somebody left their security, their safe haven to go towards whatever the fuck they thought that this was going to be. Wow. Wow. Yeah, now we have the King of Pentacles hiding his coin here. So somebody here, so somebody here is trying to, yeah, somebody, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody's trying to also affect someone's money here. Someone's trying to affect someone's money or or or, or affect their happiness because they made a wrong choice. Cause they fucked up. They fucked up big time. What's the Emperor and the Empress over here with the Sun card in the higher font? Yeah, the magician. Now you have the magician in this position standing up. So this is somebody you met. Yeah, the king of wands in the upright. So whoever this is coming in and the king of pentacles is somebody that um, you're going to be able to rely on. Somebody that's going to be loyal to you. Somebody that's going to be fair. You see, justice. She's sitting here making a sound decision with no blindfold over her eyes like the one here. Somebody got swindled, just period. But your justice is, yeah, not the page of wands in a more mature state. You understand? Your justice is going to be that this good news comes in, that this person is coming in towards you. Someone's going to be messaging you, reaching out to you. Yeah, somebody sees you as the empress. Yeah, and now we have the lovers. Somebody's in love with you. This is going to be a very deep connection here. Yeah, the temperance, the perfect blending of energies here. A lot of deep emotions that are coming in. Yeah, the high priestess. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody chose the wrong empress or chose the wrong high priestess or chose something wrong. Okay. I feel like you got up from your throne to go find answers or to tap into something and you found out somebody's a fucking clown, a liar, insecure, a user, a, 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 a opportunist. Somebody here is, has mental a mental condition. Somebody is somebody is just a no, a fuck no. All right. So let's clarify. Yeah. Well, now we have the emperor. So we have the emperor, emperor here twice. Empress, empress. You have a divine, beautiful connection coming in that is just for you. This is, yeah, the high priestess is a very spiritual connection in the tempers again. Wow. You are vibrating so fucking high. Whoever I am talking to, the empress or whatever. Yeah, you're, 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 you're the shit. And your overall energy here is the sun with the star behind it. So look at this. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. With the chariot, the death, and the temperance, this is beautiful. Like, yeah, and the sun again, a solution to all your problems. You're going to be so happy about something here. This is beautiful. You are, yeah, the three of wands, you can look forward to a very bright and beautiful future with this person that's, yeah, the eight of wands. Things are taking off here for you. Someone's coming in or traveling towards you. Or I feel like something, yeah, this could be about work. Work is really picking up for you here as well. But I feel like, yeah, someone's coming in with an apology that you do not want. Eight of Swords and Knight of Cups. I feel like somebody keeps apologizing. You don't want it. You're like, no, I'm good. You're a liar. You're a con. You're 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 you did some, somebody did something purposely to hurt you. You have the judgment and it backfired on a dumbass. Somebody is stupid, dog. Like literally in the worst way. We have Star again. Okay, so now somebody's obsessed and watching you and trying to figure out a way to destroy you or catch you off guard so they can try to break you or take something from you or something like that. It'll never happen. I see marriage and commitment coming in with a Taurus. Okay, I see that. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Somebody's shit didn't work. Five of Swords, Four of Cups, their hate, their tax, their jealousy. It didn't work. What's the Five of Swords, Four of Cups? Yeah, it's going to come to an abrupt ending here as well. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, something's just going to end. Someone's going to walk away or, or, or something like that. Yeah, the Lovers. Very, very beautiful uh, connection. Ace of Cups that's coming in. Very, very divine. What's the Ace of Cups and the Lovers? I feel like Two of Cups energy. Like this, I told you, I told you. This is a bond that can never be broken. The Strength card is here. Someone's loyal to you. Ten toes down and very protective. They will fight to protect you in this relationship. This is somebody that will fight for this relationship. Or somebody wants to come back in and show you that they've changed. They want to fight for this. But I'm getting this over with the world card here. And the death that keeps showing up. Something will never be the same. Yeah, the queen of swords. You have nothing left to say to this person. Yeah, the five of cups and the um, page of cups. Yeah, could be an Aries. Yeah, the ten of wands. Somebody stressed out trying to plan a way to come back in and have a conversation with you. Talk to you about this. Apologize. Somebody's like stuck in their head about this. But I feel like something is over. It's just the way in which somebody did something, man. They really betrayed you, dog. I feel like this was your ace. They they betrayed you, my nigga. And it's over, dog. And now you're aligned for somebody else. Nine of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, a lot of lies. There won't be a reconciliation. Somebody is, has given up totally on this situation. They no longer want to invest or anything. Yeah, the Six of Swords, they're moving on. Nine of Swords in the Chariot. Yep, somebody's relocating or moving on. Someone's worried about it. Yeah, you have to completely detach from this situation. Full card. You're done. What's the Nine of Swords? Now, now somebody's only left to look at the choices and decisions that they made. Yep, Seven of Swords, Moon card. Why did I lie? Why did I um? Why did I have this secret follower? Or why did I go do this? Or why did I do, do that? Or whatever. Now somebody's secretly trolling you and watching you and all this other shit. Yeah, and jealous of you as well, and trying to create chaos and, and conflict in your life, trying to cause. See, it was never love in the first place. This is why you don't fuck with this person, and you're aware that they're doing this to you too. So it's over. All right. So yeah, those. Let's see. I'm getting this 
So I'll do this one. Yeah, the Grim Reaper. When I opened the deck, it said the Grim Reaper. Yeah, not enough. Okay, and I saw the Grim Reaper. It says not today. So it's just a not, not, not. Yeah, girl with a snake. Wedding. Yeah, the Sword and Rose. It's over. It says not enough. Frustrating relationship, lack of confidence, self sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. And then not today. Okay, not dealing, hurt, avoiding call, conversation, boundaries, and still angry. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Yeah. You're, 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 you're just done. Yeah, mass. Not showing true feelings, high personified, pretend, dilute, and gaslight. And that's what somebody does. They're a gaslighter, they're a manipulator, and a liar, and a con. And I'm getting, you, you, you may have jumped into something blindly and you didn't really know what you were dealing with here. But somebody is a con, a manipulator, and they're a thief. Somebody stole from you as well. Somebody stole from you after everything you did to help them. Yeah, the snake. Okay, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman and the grim reaper. It says, um, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. And karmic relationship, yeah, tr triggers, treating, triggers, turmoil, okay, fleeting. All right, it says, uh, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Yeah, somebody, yeah, ascended. You have ascended. You have moved on from this. Okay, yeah, girl talks. A time with friends, moving on, happily single. Yeah, you're happily single and nobody can do anything about it. Love call. I'm getting somebody's going to call you or you're on the phone with somebody sexy that you just met. Yeah, but you've moved on. The, the boat card, there it is again. It's over. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, a closure issue. Somebody did not get the closure that they were looking for. Oh, well, that's on them. You got the closure you were looking for. Somebody is a snake. And that's just what the fuck it is. And a backstabber and a betrayer. Yeah. It says love and I like you. Yeah. Somebody's going to say that they like you. They love you. Okay. So look forward to that. All right. So, um, yeah, date, meeting someone new, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Yep. In abundance and coffee cups. So I feel like you're going to have coffee. Yeah. And the sun card. Wow. It says coffee, conversing, meeting up, savoring the moment, uplifted in friendship, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there and then happiness, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So I do feel like you're getting back out there and you're going to love this. Yeah. Axe and stabbed in the back. Ten of swords. Yeah. It's over with this person. Three of swords, ten of swords. Somebody really betray you. It says the Butterfly relationship evolving to next phase, healing the inner child and growth and sword and rolls. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, protection, and honor. Yep, the healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship and addiction. So this new relationship is going to allow you to really heal. You're going to have a lot of fun with this person. Yeah, this person from the past, yeah, separation that had you as an option, bitch, as the empress. But you're pulling the empress heavily. The high priestess or the empress. Somebody here is just dumb. Yep, seduction and easily seduced. They like to talk to people online at a distance or whatever. Somebody just no. It's just a no for you. All right? So those are your messages. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see y'all tonight on live. Love you. Bye.